a little story. About two years ago, Judith from Get More, who's over there, came to my counsellor's surgery. Now, normally people who come to counsellor's surgery got housing problems, immigration problems, sort of thing that we can sort out. Now, Judith came in, she was a bit cheeky and said, I want to tell you about the things that we do at their Get More organisation. I said, right ho, I'll, I'll come and see you. Two years later, we end up with a project here. It's taken, there'll be a lot of hiccups, a lot of glitches getting us here, but it has been a really valuable journey from a bright idea about how do we do several things simultaneously, but most importantly, how do we help young people get a good trade that will earn them a decent uh, bit of money that will last them long term in a place like Islington? And we thought about cycle maintenance for a very simple reason that you know, you just couldn't cross the road nowadays. You know, there, there are some routes very close to here, including Cowley Road. Go on Barnsby Road. Try and cross Barnsby Road at 9 a.m. most mornings. And, you know, you are watching. Bike, 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 bike. And we've seen from the 2011 census that the numbers of people using bikes now for their principal journey each day uh, has nearly doubled. In, in boroughs like Hackney, just next door to us, more people now use a bike to go to work than use a van or a car. And Islington is very close behind, and we're very similar statistic. Camden's very similar, Harringay's very similar as well. And we're very close to the city in the West End, so we've got a lot of what they call footfall, or whatever the cycle equivalent of that is, you know, wheel spin, people spinning through our neighbourhood. The second thing that's happening is that as more and more people are using bikes, they're becoming more and more like regular people. And I think you know what I mean. When I first started cycling in London, it was only the Lycra mob that used bicycles. Nowadays, it's everybody, wearing everyday clothes, cycling to work, a mile, two miles, not long, power pedalling journeys. And the people also who actually don't want to be bothered with the fuss of fixing their brakes and their gears, but they do want their bikes to be safe, and they do spend money with the commercial companies that fix up their bikes. And anybody who has got a bike and you go into cycle surgery or some of the other, you know, other, other supplies are available, you go in there, it's a bit of a nightmare actually. Because you've got to get out your diary and check with their availability and there's an incredible shortage of skilled mechanics. You actually can't get your bike um, fixed up in this borough unless you're incredibly patient and you also pay quite a lot of money as well. So a fantastic market for a skill and a trade that is not going to go away. It is growing very, very rapidly. And in this kind of neighbourhood, we want to grab a bit of that business. The third thing that's worth saying is we also want to do things like what we're doing on this estate. Now, the Bemerton estate is a place that's had a reputation over the years, the last 10 or 15 years. It's not a reputation that's any more deserved, in my opinion. But it's got a reputation as a very large estate where trouble happens. And sometimes it does, most of the time it doesn't. And the way in which we're stopping that trouble happening around here is by giving a decent offer to the young people around here and by doing things which really improve the physical feel of the estate getting more footfall, getting more lively activity in the basements. And if you get a chance to walk around the estate, those of you who are not very familiar with it, you'll see there's lots and lots of undercrofts like this one, which can all be brought back into productive use. And what Benton Village's uh, Benton, uh, TMO have done is they've come forward with a project that uses this bit of underused space, put in a bit of their own money, good for them, to fit it out and clean it out and get the security in and make it a lively um, business place and, and training center. And that partnership between a council, a tenant management organization, the things that we're trying to do through Team Cali, the board partnership here, are all about boosting confidence in this neighborhood, confidence about an estate like, like Bemerton, getting young people into work, and everybody is the, is, is, is the gainer from that. So we have a super project here, uh, and it's one which is gonna get young people into work, it's gonna improve our neighborhoods, and make everybody feel a lot prouder about this place. So my thanks in particular, I'm one of the ward councillors here, I also have to the executive member with responsibility for, for crime and community safety and I think you know what I'm talking about here. Crime reduction is a very important dimension of getting people into work. We want to make this place a real success and a place that people can be proud of. It's been a fantastic team effort making that happen. And then to cap things off I'm going to ask Catherine West is the leader of the council to also say a few words of um, welcome to everybody. Thank you very much.